Hey, welcome back. Thank you for watching. This is a door breaching shotgun slug. So we did a video two or three weeks ago on less lethal shotgun rounds, and that was the day that I tried these for the very first time. And it surprised me. It was way more powerful than I was expecting. So today, I want to really test them and see if a door breaching shotgun slug could actually be lethal. Now, for those of you that don't know, door breachers are frangible rounds designed to blow through the lock on a door, allowing you to open it and cause minimal collateral damage both to the shooter and anyone that might be inside, which is why they're frangible. Obviously a regular shotgun slug could blow right through a deadbolt as well, but it would be far more dangerous for the people inside and probably the shooter as well. So I'm not expecting these to be anywhere near as impressive as buckshot or regular slugs, but we might be surprised. Let's find out. Now, when you look at these up close, it appears to be a frangible slug wrapped in some sort of yellow rubber sleeve. And I assume it stays intact until it hits the target and that's when it breaks apart. So we're gonna put one on the steel and see what it sounds like compared to a regular shotgun slug. Also to see if you can even hit targets with them at 10 yards away because it's obviously not rifled like a regular slug either. So let's see. Yep. Okay, so it did stay intact and it actually hit the steel pretty hard and surprisingly dead center right where I was aiming because again, they're not rifled like regular slugs. So pretty impressive. Well, on the slow-mo, you could see that when it hit the steel, it literally just turned to dust. So now let's try a regular one ounce shotgun slug and see what the difference is. Probably gonna hit quite a bit harder. <laughs> so much more recoil. So that one also broke apart when it hit the steel target, but the door breaching slug literally disintegrated into a cloud of smoke. And I'm sure you could hear it, but that one hit the steel quite a bit harder as well. Now in the first video that I tried these, I shot a block of clay with one of these frangible slugs and there was a million little pieces in there. So even something as soft as clay is still hard enough to break them apart. So now I wanna try some fun targets and see how much damage they can actually do. All right, we've got some of our regulars down there on the table. Let's see what these door breachers can do. We'll start with the pineapple. Wow. That was way more dramatic than I expected. Oh no, our coconut fell. All right, let's try the coconut. This will be a tougher test because this is quite a bit harder. Let's see if it goes through. Woo! Well, I just got a refreshing coconut mist to the face and the watermelon. And just to show you guys, these are the door breaching slugs that I'm shooting, so. <laughs> They're a lot more powerful than I expected. Let's try the watermelon. Man. Okay, so I think what's happening here is because they're frangible, they're just dumping all that energy as soon as they hit the target. Whereas something like a regular slug or double up buckshot would keep on going. These would not penetrate well, but that might be some of the most impressive fruit explosions I've ever seen. Wow. You guys, I've shot coconuts with quite a few guns, including 12 gauge shotguns, and I have never seen one just explode into dust like that. I mean, literally all we have are these tiny little pieces and they're spread out over a 30 or 40 yard radius. And again, I don't think they would penetrate well in a self-defense scenario because they're just exploding on impact, but it's probably the most destructive round I've ever seen on soft targets like this. Wow. All right guys, now we're gonna try a penetration test on water jugs. I think I have eight of them up there and I wanna see how much water one of these can go through before it completely breaks apart. They say the body is 75% water, so let's see how it penetrates. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> And somehow the camera just got a couple little drops and I got completely soaked.
on the slow motion, you can see that water just go straight back to where I was sitting and somehow it missed everything but me, which I guess is a good thing. So here are our water jugs and it looks like we only have two that are actually damaged and they are very damaged. So that's number one and then number two is right here and they're just completely smashed, which kind of tells you that it didn't blow through them, but just the force of that thing hitting the water jugs, flattened them out. There's actually some shot down in the bottom of that one and a bunch on the table as well. Those tiny little pellets that make up that door breaching slug. It looks like jugs number three through eight are completely untouched and one and two are the only ones that got destroyed. So not a lot of penetration, two water jugs, which is about what I expected. And with any other shotgun load, there would be a lot more damage, so. Pretty cool. Well, I could sit out here and shoot these all day long. They are a lot more fun than I anticipated, but unfortunately I'm running out of them. So let's go ahead and do our self-defense test. For this one, of course, we are using a ballistic dummy lab head. Now this one has been used. I think it's the one that I shot with the flare gun a couple weeks ago. Um, so there's that one hole right there. But if you look at the back, it is completely untouched and still intact. So we're gonna shoot this thing in the back of the head and see if a door breaching round could actually be lethal. We'll try it at five yards first. If there's anything left, then we'll go point blank range. After the water incident, I'm kind of scared to shoot stuff up close with these. Well, it hit right there. It went a little bit lower than I wanted it to go, but you can clearly see that it easily blew straight through that head and even removed the top half from the bottom half. And I've never seen a result quite like that before. It looks like it shredded the bone apart. So I assume it hit and broke apart like it's supposed to, but the force was enough to, you know, do that amount of damage. And we still have some left up here. I might shoot it one more time and see what it does. But I would say a door breaching slug could absolutely be lethal. All right, we have the top half facing us and then the face sitting behind it. So we know it's powerful enough to go through the skull. Let's see how far it actually penetrates. <laughs> Well, we've got bone fragments and stuff laying all over the place, but look at the hole that it made in that skull. I would say that is absolutely a deadly round. And then here is the face that we had sitting behind the head. And we actually did have a little bit come all the way through. Not much, but enough to, you know, blow some of his teeth out. And if you look closely, you can even see some of those tiny little fragments from the door breaching round. Well, there you have it. The door breaching rounds, in my opinion, are definitely lethal and should not be treated as anything less. Obviously, it wouldn't be my first choice for home defense for a number of reasons, but based off what I've seen here today, I would say they could absolutely be deadly. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video on the door breaching shotgun slugs. Like I said, these are not intended to be used as self-defense rounds, but based off what I've seen here today, I wouldn't want to get shot with them and I'll leave it at that. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'd be glad to hear from you guys as always. If you like the video, let me know down there as well and hit that like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.